Hello and welcome. So here I here I'm here. I, hello and <laughs> hello and welcome. So here I am again. Uh, I decided to play Life is Strange. As far as my channel, and uh, it says press any button. So I just press the X button. So I can downloadable content. I don't know if there is any. Uh, let's see. Okay, start a new game. Yes. Let's see, I wonder if there's any options I should, uh, adjust here. I'm gonna leave that. Let's see, language and subtitles. I like to have subtitles when I play games. Uh, normal, large, hello, large. I'll just do normal. Yeah, subtitles. Uh, English. No, I don't want it to be semi opaque. Um, this is all good. Audio. That's fine. Alright, uh, new game. So before I start, I have played similar games to this, such as uh, Indigo Prophecy back on the PS2, Heavy Rain on uh, PS3, as well as Walking Dead episode or seasons one and two on PS3, and I think it was Tales of Monkey Island, also a Telltale game on uh, PS3. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Been uh, excited to play this game. I've heard good things about it. I'm just a story-based game that features player choice, consequences, player game options, and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Alright. Sounds good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm expecting that. Let's turn this up a little louder. That's good. Okay, so she's waking up now. What's happening? Wondering the same thing. I'm trapped in the storm. How did I get here? And where is here? All of life's philosophical questions will be answered soon enough. There's the lighthouse. <laughs> I'll be safe if I can make it there. I agree with that. Please let me make it there. That's just what I have to do, is just go that way. Hopefully it's not too bad. Okay. Went up this way now. Pretty, uh, pretty good opening. I like this. Wow. Pretty crazy stuff. It's like a branch from a tree and some kind of observation deck or something like that. Some more rubble and uh, stuff strewn on the ground. Cinder blocks and what have you. Okay. Holy shit. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Kind of a cool effect though, I wonder how they did that. Oh. Whoa. Oh. That was so surreal. It's called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to uh, pay attention. <laughs> from color to chiaroscuro. Oh, yeah, some from the Now, can you being an give art me major. an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep. Atiba Jefferson. <laughs> I'm sure it didn't feel like a dream. <laughs> I don't think it was him. Ann Arbus. 
There you go. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Interesting picture. I can hear the class laughing at me now. Okay. Victoria? Let's go back. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. I haven't kept up with my journal as much She's as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Maybe I should do some reading here. Uh, October 1st. My favorite mo uh, October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. <laughs> and I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters yet. Soon Kate let me borrow the October Country by Red, Great Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. <laughs> but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. Last time I wrote, wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. He's a vortex, vortex club stroke fest swimming party. What is that? Backstroke fest. You're so punny, Max. <laughs> I'm trying to climb out. I should expect my life to completely. Black Academy. Can cut it out. Uh, as my parents left telling me on all the yep. I don't know how oh parents, I only have one available apparently and, and me I can read wow there's a lot of detail in this game this is not what I was expecting but it's kind of cool um I actually could read Max my name is Rex call field and ever since I was a little kid I knew I wanted to be a photographer that's a good dream to have I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. maybe it's okay for me to be a part of the world that I saved it since the reason I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech I love all kinds of style and tech but for me the instant camera selfie is the one I love most I don't know if people make fun of me or not I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, private school for 12 kids seniors. On the fellowship event, I originally left behind Chloe, my quote, best friend forever, unquote. At least until I left without being to her once in a few years. It feels so weird back here. That some age now, official adult, even though I don't always feel so. I was mature, and I'm ready to be a whole new life here. Photo camera at my side. Stay cheese. This is my heart's battle. I just read the rest of these. I don't. I don't know. So these are texts I can read. Um, I have a from her dad. I have a. Very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is from Kate. Uh, always. You okay? Did you want to get uh, tea later today? Absolutely. I'm f be free after four. TTYL. Mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you brought to us. XO, our hugs and kisses. Warren, uh, be sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. <laughs> I don't know if that's the movie Necromantic or some band or something. I heard it's a pretty crazy movie though. But anyway, hey Mad Max, <laughs> let's let's butt shit up. Let's bust shit up. Why did the study for physics tests? So if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. I'll ignore his message. This guy just, he doesn't know when to quit, does he? Before that, he said, uh, do you want to meet after cop? Do you want to meet for a coffee after school? I need an excuse not to study. Please. This guy's 
I don't know. Maybe he just has a one-track mind. I don't know. But anyway, um, I could read about these people, I guess, and then I'll move on to something else. Not only uh, this is a Jefferson character. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, but he's also my teacher. One of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentioned? Or how often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I always loved his deco and goth style. And he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. Yeah, he's, he's probably a bit egotistical as well. <laughs> he's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has a smug smile when he thinks he's right. Yeah, I knew he was arrogant. <laughs> but I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist, quote-unquote. Uh, he acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants us, or he really wants me to enter a photo in this everyday heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner goes gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Black Hole Academy and get national exposure. I like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm all Jefferson. He would bugs me about the contest. So, who else is here? Okay. Um, I think I'll spare you guys the trouble of this stuff. Might be kind of boring. I don't, let me know if you want me to read more of that kind of stuff, because I will. Uh, Should write. Yeah. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, oh, that. Shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Okay. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And capture you in a moment of I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Guess I'll do that. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to? Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Really? Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I actually don't know that. I want to say you're, you're asking me. Asking me? L let me think. Try and answer the question. Um, you either know this or not, Max. Hey. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Chill out, Louis man. Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Oh. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Hey, deal with it, okay? Very good, Victoria. <laughs> The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail and people- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. The first American Daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Ah. You can find out all I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. I like the pencil case. It's kind of cool looking. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, hey. Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna try and make good choices in this game. That's what I try doing these type of games. I like I, I prefer to be the good Victoria, huh. person. Cool shot. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. T take the picture. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. So I got some pictures in here. Apparently, that's cool. A little, uh, kind of like a scrapbook in a way. Yeah, I guess it's basically is a scrapbook, but you know. Uh, cool. I like that. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important culture. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. He is a bit intimidating. I don't blame you. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Yes. 
you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. That's a good point. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Yeah, I... Uh, I would keep my distance. Okay. Oh, well, that's a... Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. That's pretty cool. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. Right, well, but I still dig my little instant camera. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. He must be very Can't proud of himself. Watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. I like documentaries myself. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Read. Are you an everyday hero? Find out. Enter to win. Everyday heroes photo contest. Submit an image that represents yourself or others in the he heroic action. Huh. Deadline October 9th, 2013. They're going to fly to San Francisco and represent the school in the National Everyday Heroes competition at the Zeitgeist Gallery on October 11, 2013. You may submit one image on approved paper for consideration. For those 18 and under, a parent permission form must be included with the image. Okay. That sounds like a good opportunity. Let's see if there's anything else in here that I think I will book. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive yeah. Moment by Henry Cartier Bresson. That's rare. Any uh. leap of its m Of course, Victoria uh. has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive, everything. I probably shouldn't cut off the... her talking, her, her inner monologue like that. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. <laughs> Actually, well, I want to know what that known. says. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. So, product. GRLT 64S. With all this speed and power expected from a new greenlit, the GRLT 64S is packed in with expanded features and manageability. You choose what you want, where you want. Straight out of the, of the camera, JPEG images already have superb quality, including a new level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. I guess that's what it says. So, it's 5,000. Uh, $299. Kind of pricey. But I guess it's worth the price if you have the money. Photo equipment. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? Nice. God, I'm such a photo nerd. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I'm gonna pause this. I'll be back in a little bit. And we're back. Alright. So, anything else around here? Printer. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. Mm. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Yep. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's kind of nice, yeah. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Don't say hi. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Ah. That's always fun. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Okay. What can I do with this? Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. <laughs> Dear Kate, we love your porn video. <laughs> XO, XO, Blackwell Academy. Eh. 
why she's quiet. I think it's time to go. Explode popsicle stand. Okay. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying you you Welcome to the real world. Cute? Okay. Then Who cares if she looks cute? I don't. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. <laughs> She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Nice music. Don't text and drive. <laughs> Life is strange. So on one... Chrysalis? I think that's how you say it? Evan doesn't say much to me, but... His photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Very observant. It's in here. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that I would too. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Her dad kind of looks like Joe from The Last of Us. I mean, that's just me. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They Stella. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. No one can... I hate bully jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I hate him too. He's like a jerk. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Okay. I wish I It looks like she's been gone for months. Missing. Missing from Arcadia Bay. They missing mo uh, Monday, October 22nd, 2013. Other. 89 years old, height 505, weight 100 pounds, hair blonde eyes hazel, a tan calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Rachel Amber, age 9. This is called inf when any information. Call Clarity Bay Sheriff's 555-388-602-20. That's sad. It's this one. I wish October would last forever. Poster. That'd be kind of cool. They should just call it a sugar machine. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. <laughs> you can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Don't need a PC. Miss the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. <laughs> Reward on September 16th in my backpack. All my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria and after the little table. And the stuff for school and my tablet has a lot of very personal pics. I like caps. Rip. So I'm willing to pay small cash for war the small craft reward, no question to ask. You quite would like to confess, you know, where and who, who and where I am. Word up, back off party drench hats. I'm October fifth, three fifty feet in in main library. So PC laptop fully loaded. Six hundred dollars or best offer. Contact Mindy at BlackwellAcademy.ed. Huh. Look. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. So it says Civil Arcadia Bay or the past day of the climate regimes. All through the Oregon coastline including fish and fauna. This helped decimate the stage fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town down. Okay. That eh, doesn't seem very exciting. I Another missing posting. I guess this is the same person, yeah. Good thing I left my AK at home. Gun free zone. Huh. 
ones I'd like to be part of. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. It looks like she's been gone for months. Yeah. Looks like I, I guess I have to find the bathroom. There it is. Okay. I'll do that. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. What's this? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> Get the flu out before the flu gets you. Get a few <laughs> Immuni immunized today? Some, I don't know how to say it. Okay. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. This. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Now who would bother to write that crap? Uh, that's not very nice. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> or, 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 or drew the marker on it. Okay, well, I'll do this. Hmm. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Right. Fuck it. Yes, that's not gonna happen. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Should do it. Do it. I wanna scare it away. Nice. That's pretty cool. Huh? Why is this guy in here? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get so in hell more trouble for here. this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. Aww. Really? That sucks. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? That was trippy. I was in the bathroom. <laughs> he shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in our I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow from color now Kate is being hassled again and if Victoria's phone rings this is real oh, now, shit. can you give me an example of a Man, I cannot believe this captured the human condition in black and white okay if I'm crazy I might as well go all the way Bueller. can I actually reverse time go, Victoria why Arvis? 
the way. Going all the way. I did it. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane, my pencil case is still in the same go, place. Victoria. Keep it Why together, else? Max. Still because the same I'm stupid picture. So when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, take, shh, shh. Take a Keep that to yourself. Take a selfie here. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark room. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Has been I can tell. What is real? <laughs> Your generation. So I can go back in time. <laughs> Selfie wow. expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. First. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Okay, whatever, dude. Oh, shit. Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally Boring. stuck in the retro zone. <laughs> Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces, making them extremely. Oh, well, Max, since you've. Ca I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're. N Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson, I can roll. So I'll have to try again. Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Ooh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit Saved a photo the in bell. the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly <laughs> out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. It's time to be an everyday hero. Gotta go save that girl. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your so. You see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just work. So I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Really? I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just. Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Okay. You see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard. So I can leave now. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't Do even that. think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photo- I'm on top of it. Oh. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Hmm. Make sure you finish working on it by today. 
I have faith in you. Alright. That was easy. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Go, I can't go, go, tell go. anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. A Philip K. Dick book, uh, Counterclock World, which I thought it was was okay. I. Okay, I, Max. Retrace every step. Thought doing Energy with Electric Sheep was a better book, though. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! I'm so- I need sick. a hammer to break it open! To control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody Ooh. would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Oh, convenient. That gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. There we go. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Ah, yeah, freak. Leave her alone. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck going is going off. on? Do not freak out. I gotta know. She did it, right? Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Yeah. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and yeah, please dude. turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah. Do your job, punk. <laughs> All right, well. I think I'm going to uh, uh, stop this for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, episode one of Life in is Strange. I'll play more later. I'll uh, either continue with this episode or I'll be on to the next one. So uh, thanks for w watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.